Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I wanted to do a fall inspired look as we are approaching fall fairly quickly and the weather is starting to cool down just a little bit. So I wanted to do a brown smoky shimmery eye with a bambi lip and I used the Morphe 350 palette to achieve the eye look. It has these beautiful warm shades in it. Super affordable on the Morphe website and I paired it with the Ofra liquid lip in the shade Hypno. This was a collab with Ofra and Manny MUA who is a YouTuber and I really really love the way it turned out. Of course I highlighted a lot because that's what I like and I went in hard with the darker colors for the smoky eye. I always always put a shimmer on my lid. It's just something that I feel naked without. I don't like mattes completely all over the lid. So there is some shimmer there and I just use the deeper colors to define the lash line, put on some iconic lashes by House of Lashes, which are my go-to. And this is the finished look. Sorry about the hair, horrible hair day, but pretty good makeup day. So I wanted to go ahead and get this video up and I don't have earrings in, so. I look a little bit of a mess, but I hope you can look past all of that and just tune into the makeup look. Thanks so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in just a minute. Hello there. So I'm going to go ahead and prime the face using NYX Angel Veil Primer. This is a velvety smooth primer that I have really been enjoying. Then I'm going to use my very favorite of all time foundation, the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. I'm using shades 04 and 06 to create my perfect shade, and I'm going to blend that in using a damp beauty sponge and dabbing that all over the face. This does take a little bit of time just to make sure it is seamless and perfect. You wanna make sure you go on the ears and down the neck. Take your time doing it. It will absolutely be worth it in the end because it, it is a beautiful finish. Then I'm going to conceal and highlight using the Tarte Shape Tape. And I have the shades medium and the shades light, but I don't have light medium, which is probably what I need. So I mix a little medium and a little of light on the back of my hand and I go in with one of the wands and I will conceal the under eye and highlight my forehead, nose, cupid's bow, and chin. <laughs> and then I will go in with that other end of the beauty sponge and I will blend that all out. Under the eye, I do a back and forth motion. So I will take it from the nose to the corner of the eye, back and forth, back and forth. And that's going to help the concealer not to settle in your fine lines and not to crease. We're going to use the powder later anyways to help with that. But that is a technique that I learned that has really helped me with applying concealer. And then I will buff all of the rest of that in with my beauty blender as well. When you're done with this, your face is going to look really light, but don't worry, we're going to bronze it up and it's going to come to life. Now I'm going in with my RCMA No Color Powder, the best, most affordable powder out there. And I'm going to bake under my eyes and all the places we highlighted and concealed. I do let that sit for about a minute, but you can't really tell because I speed it up on camera and I'm using the Morphe E50 brush. This is just a great brush to get into all the creases and crevices of your face, any wrinkles and get that powder out so that it looks airbrushed and seamless. Now I'm going into my Benefit Chica Pathon palette and I am going to take Hula on my e.l.f. blending brush, one of my favorite brushes of all time, and I'm going to use that to contour my cheeks and to shade my forehead because my forehead is quite large and I like to make it pure just a little bit smaller. Make it more of a woo, forehead. I have broken that Lorac bronzer so many times. I don't know why I'm surprised by it anymore, <laughs> but that is the Lorac Tantalizer Bronzer in Golden Glow, and I'm gonna go over that with my MAC 135 brush, and I'm going to bronze over top of my contour. So everywhere I contoured, I'm going to then bronze as well. This just gives it a more golden glow and makes you look very tan and just healthy. 
Now I am taking the RCMA No Color Powder and I'm gonna put that under my contour just to clean it up on both sides and I'll dust it away a little later. Now I am going to use my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Sunlight. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite. I've talked about them in favorites videos. I've used them in many tutorials, but I put them on the tops of my cheekbones and I blend, blend, blend out with my beauty sponge. This is going to serve as a base for our powder highlight and it looks really intense, but once you blend it out, it actually looks pretty natural. Going into my Becca and Jaclyn Hill face palette, I'm going to take the blush Rose Spritz and I'm going to just dab it into Champagne Pop, which is the highlight, and I'm gonna use that as my highlighter for today. I do love this highlighter. I feel like I need to phase it out in fall. It's so much more of a summer look, but I love it so much. Now taking my tapered highlighting brush from Sigma, I'm going to dip into Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop in that same Jaclyn Hill face palette. And in a C shape, I'm going to apply that highlighter over top of the custom enhancer drops that we already applied. And this is going to make you shine so bright. Now I am going to prime the eyeballs or the eyelids rather. <laughs> I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I just rub that in. And I'm gonna use a bone colored shadow. You can use any bone colored shadow, but I'm just dipping into my Kat Von D palette really quickly. And I'm using a flat shader brush and I'm just putting that all the way from the brow bone to the lid and blending it out. This is going to be a beautiful smooth base for the shadows we are going to use going into this eye look. Starting out with this first shade, this is a great transition shade. None of these shades have names, by the way, but this is the Morphe 350 palette, and this shade is very comparable to like a creme brulee by Makeup Geek. It is kind of like a peach smoothie as well. It's just a perfect, perfect transition shade, and I am going to bring that up pretty high and into the crease and start shaping my eye by bringing that out into almost a wing on the outside and blending it also into the outer corner. Always create the shape you want with the lightest shade in, that you're using. I'm gonna go in with this rich brownish red shade and on a smaller, more flat, but still dense brush, I'm going to blend that out into the outer V and up into the crease, but I'm not gonna take that over the crease. I'm going in with a clean blending brush and I'm just buffing all of that out and I will go back in and define it a little bit more. There I am just applying a tiny bit more and buffing it out again. To make your eye look seamless, you gotta go in a few times and then I'm going into this like hot chocolate brown shade with that same flat but dense blending brush and I'm going to focus that on the lid, outer V and the, v, the lower crease. And that's just gonna add a lot of dimension to this eye look using the different shades of brown and bringing the darkest color into the outer V really smokes it out, which is what I wanted, a brown smoky eye today. And then again, I'm going to take that fluffy blending brush, but I'm going to put that the, like creme brulee shade on it and I'm going to blend that out on the top to really make it not harsh at all. And then I'm going into this beautiful bronze shimmer shade and on a flat brush, this is the MAC 242, I'm gonna spritz it with MAC Fix Plus. And then starting on the inner corner, I'm going to just do very small padding motions and I will swipe once I have that product on the eye but in just very small sections because I want it to blend in with the shadows we already have on there so I kind of just feather it in. I do have powder under my eye by the way this is to catch any fallout that might come with the shadow because it's a shimmer and I will wipe that away when I'm done but as you can see I'm just using very light motions and feathering it into the existing shadows to make a nice transition. 
wiping that powder away, I'm going to do a winged liner with the Kat Von D Trooper Liner. I do it off camera and also I am defining the lower lash line with the two darker browns we used. And voila, now I am coating my lashes with the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. This is one of my favorites but I am going to put on some House of Lash Iconic Lashes over top of this so I'm not taking too much time on it just to make sure they blend in very well to these very dramatic lashes which I love. So that is the eye look and now I'm going to do my lips. I'm using the Ofra Hypno Liquid Lip and this is my very first fall tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe. Mwah!